what's going on everybody we are back today with some more farm sim 22 where today i am recording my second take of how to field prep in farm sim i just recorded this video or thought i recorded this video but i apparently did not actually hit the record button so hopefully this one will actually go a little bit better better since i know how to talk in it or what i want to say the first thing you need to do when hopping into your tractor and getting the field ready for its next harvest is go ahead and open up the map. Apparently I don't know what the right map button is. You can see we're working on field number 23 here and you can see that it needs lime. It's this green color right here, this minty green color, and you can turn it on and off to see if it needs it or doesn't need it. And also if it needs plowing, it'll be this red color. As you can see, there are some fields like field number 22 here that need both lime and plowing. If we turn off the red color, it turns green because it needs lime and plowing both. So we'll go ahead and put a little bit of lime on this field just to take a look at how it looks. Once we get down the field, we can see we started with 22% in the trailer, but it uses quite a bit of lime. So lime's really not that expensive to use or to buy. But it does use a lot so it evens out and some costs do become a little bit expensive with it. So we'll take a look now at what that looks like here. It is a white color as you can see. That is the lime that we put on the field. There's still stubble here. But that'll increase your yield by about 5%, I believe, 5 or 10%. And you can look on the map and see that we have put lime here, so it no longer needs any more work done here to increase its yield. The next thing we will do is hop into this case tractor here, which has a mulcher on it. The mulcher will be used after you put lime on it, if you need to put lime on it. And it'll go ahead and it'll basically just chop down any little stocks left that you have in the field with corn or with in this case wheat it has a little stubble left on the field and it'll just take that and cut it down put it on the dirt basically you're like mowing the grass down to nothing as you can see here's the texture for the mulching you can take a look at it here there's no longer any stubble left on the field it's just straw texture and it's just a little bit different based on what part you've done already. As you can see right here, there's white here where we put the lime, but there's still stubble. And then you come over here and there's no more stubble left. And you can't see the lime anymore as it's underneath the straw where you mulched it up. The next thing you should do when you're preparing a field is you should decide, do I need to get in a plow or in this case a subsoiler or do I need to get in a cultivator or in this case a disc harrow? For this field, we're going to go ahead and use the disc harrow because we don't need to take care of the plowing state on this field. I will come back to that in one second, though. We'll get this tractor ready. There is no need to turn on a disc harrow, cultivator, plow, any of that. All you have to do is lower it to the ground and pull it behind your tractor. As you can see, it changes the texture and removes the stubble similar to what we just did with the mulcher, but this also turns the dirt over. The disc harrow does not seem to pull up any rocks. I'm not sure that it pulls up rocks if it never pulls up rocks though, or if it does small rocks at points. But as you can see, a disc harrow only turns over the very top layer of the dirt, but it does get it ready enough that you can plant in it again. So we'll lift that back out of the ground and get out of the tractor, take a look at it a little bit closer. Similar to the mulching texture, but it is a little bit darker in color as it's mixed it in with the dirt quite a bit more. You can also see that it's no longer just a flat texture as sometimes you would need to roll over it as well with a roller. Now, if your field does need to get the plowing state taken care of, there's a couple different implements you can use to take care of it. I have chosen the subsoiler, the same one that we showed off up at the top of the map. But we have come down to the bottom of the map and used it on a different field down here that needs to be plowed. We'll go ahead and take a look at the map here. All the way down towards the bottom of the map, we are working on field number 75. And as you can see, 
he, the worker is slowly taking care of the plow state, the field, and somewhere over here. And all of this red will disappear. The final thing you'll need to do with all of the settings turned on is you'll either need to stone pick, which we have here, or roll the field stones back into the field. And that'll actually make it so your implements do not get any damage. As you can see, as we drive up and down the field, it's a little bit tough to see where you've been driving at already without a GPS mod or something installed. But you are slowly collecting all of the rocks in the field, I believe, as well as making it slightly flatter and easier to drive on, not so bumpy. As you can see, we do have 173 liters of rocks inside of the stone picker. And once you get done with that, you can either choose to sell them at their sell point. There'll be one sell point for stones on all of the maps, at least the base game maps. Or if you do not want to do that, you can go ahead and just find a spot on your land you're not going to use. And you can, I believe, unload it anywhere you'd like. So I, we'll take a look at that here. We're just going to dump the stones out here and it makes a small rock pile. And you can do whatever you want with that. You can sell it or you can just leave it there and no one will ever know. So let's take a look quickly at all of the implements that you'll need for field preparation. The first thing you will need is a fertilizer spreader. You'll have to go ahead and look down on the bottom right corner here. And there is, and that will tell you which of these fertilizer spreaders can use lime. The smallest one for $25,000 cannot use lime but it can use fertilizer. As for the red brettle one, it can use lime, but when you go back to the bigger Amazon one, it no longer can do lime either. So to spread lime, you'll need to buy one of these red brettle ones. They do not spread nearly as wide as the Amazon ones do, but they do not do lime. The next machine you'll have to get is a mulcher. There's plenty of different mulchers to choose from in the game. They all do the exact same thing and they're pretty cheap as well. If you're looking to get just a little bit of a yield increase of 5%, mulching could be a quite easy way to increase your yield and make your money back from buying it quite quickly. The next implements you'll need are either cultivators, which will prepare your land for your next sowing, disc harrows, which will do the exact same thing, or power harrows. A power harrow is similar to a disc harrow and a cultivator, but it is PTO driven as you can connect it directly to a cedar and then you can kill two birds with one stone with it. The other thing you may need instead of a cultivator is a plow. You can use a plow like this, which is used to create fields or take care of the plowing state but it still gets your field ready for planting. You can get a subsoiler, which is what I was using in this video. I was using this subsoiler in this video. This also takes care of the plowing state, but I do not believe you can create fields with it. Or you can get a spader. Similar to the plow in the subsoiler, it does the exact same thing, but it does not create fields. But these are PTO driven, so they're not as wide and still require quite a bit of power. But that is for you to decide which of the implements you would like to use. The last piece of technology that you'll need is either a stone picker here. This is the one that I was using in the video. It is the most expensive one, but you can get some cheaper ones as well that'll do the exact same thing. Or the last thing that you could use in your fields that I did not show off in this video is a roller. A roller is similar to a stone picker as it takes care of the stones in the field, but a roller pounds them back into the dirt so they will show up again, but it does take care of them for the time being. Rollers can only be used on small stones though, and you'll still need a stone picker if you wanna get rid of those larger stones. With that being said, that is how you can get your fields prepared for your next planting and harvest for next season. I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.